Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for coming in on, I think we could probably safely say the warmest day of the year. <laughs> um, so if you're not in Madison, it's, it's, it's toasty out there today. Um, so thank you for coming all the way inside. With that, as uh, is pretty much our starting ritualistic place, we'll start either sitting or lying back. Uh, if you're at home or in your office, if you're more comfortable sitting upright in a chair, please go grab yourself a chair. Um, also, if you're sitting and you need to grab a blanket or a block or something to prop your hips up on, please feel free. So right away, we just start by feeling out our bodies how our bodies connect to the ground, to the earth. And then moving around so we feel a little less tension, a little less effort. Moving around to also feel more support from the earth. The support from the earth helps find ease in the physical body. So we'll just take maybe five breaths here to settle, build, create our shape. And then we intentionally let our skeletons, let our bones, Find stillness. So as the physical bone skeleton slows down and finds stillness, it has an opportunity to also release into the earth. So the body has an experience of being quiet. And then the body also has the experience of working and feeling gravity with the earth. And giving yourself a few moments, a few breaths. It's noticing your body having this experience as it slows down, as it connects as it feels the support of the ground of the earth. And then giving yourself a moment to connect to your breath. So as the physical body is still nice and still and quiet, notice how the breath moves through the physical body. Notice the sensations of your inhale. Noticing the sensations of your exhale. In this relationship of the ground earth with your body breathing, we'll take about five breaths. And practicing mindful self-compassion, meaning we check in with ourselves from a place of curiosity. We try to practice letting go of self-judgment of the duality of right and wrong or good or bad. 
And so when we check in, which we do several times during the practice, coming into that check-in from a place of patience, of compassion. So is, here we are, check in with yourself. Reminding yourself that you have total agency over the practice. So if something doesn't feel comfortable or safe or supportive, you don't have to do it. You can always come right back to the shape. You can find another supportive, comfortable shape. You can always find a safe space, okay? We'll take two breaths. And then as you feel your next exhale, acknowledging, hey, there's my exhale, we're all gonna roll onto our backs. We're gonna do a little bit of work today with our feet. So we're gonna pay a little closer attention uh, to grounding through the feet. So as you're on your back, you don't get to see your feet. So it's already uh, a nice challenge to feel what you can't see. So we're gonna all bend our knees and bring the feet flat to the floor. And then using the imagery of a tripod, so tripods have three legs. We're gonna feel the big toe mound. So you can feel your right big toe mound, your left big toe mound. And then you're gonna go out wide to your pinky toes. So pinky toe mound, and then back to your heels. So big toes, pinky toes, heels. So that's a triangle tripod. And this triangle tripod makes a dome in your foot. And then we're gonna push down with our exhale. So you're gonna exhale and just press the big toe, pinky toe heel down a little bit. And then with an inhale, let up on that. We'll do two more breaths. So heavy back, hips, ribs, and shoulders. So as you exhale, pushing that tripod down, inhale, release. Now we're gonna add a little different challenge. You're gonna exhale, push your tripod, right side, left side, tripod, foot pods down and hold the tripod and then take two inhales. And just feeling the breath flow through your body, keeping the weight, keeping your awareness in your tripods, your foot pods, press your belly button down a little more and then just slowly lift your pelvis and start to roll up into a really low bridge. Remember the feeling of your foot pods and then roll all the way back down and then roll out and push your pubic bone down. Two more like that, find and feel your feet pods, tripods of the foot, push down, roll vertebra by vertebra, slowly warming up the pelvis low back and then roll all the way back down one more time. And as you come up into this low bridge, if you feel like hanging out and staying in this low bridge, you can definitely hang out. You can also put your pelvis back down on the floor. Arms, let your arms come a little bit wider than your mat, palms down. And now you have two more bases of support. So we're gonna press down through the back of the arms and the shoulders. I'm going to press into the tripods of the feet and maybe lift your pelvis higher, 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 higher. Go slow. And then holding your bridge, which is optional, you can also be in your constructive rest shape. And we'll take three breaths. So you're gonna hold your skeleton in one of these shapes and then feel the flow of your breath. And coming back to your exhale, can you feel those two foot tripods 
keep them nice and anchored and grounded. And then if you're in your bridge, slowly lower vertebra by vertebra all the way back down. And then when you get back down to that constructive rest place, we're gonna use this as your baseline. We'll just hold this shape nice and still for two or three breaths, giving you an opportunity again from that place of mindful self-compassion, come back, check in. Practicing checking in from a place of kindness and curiosity. And then with your next exhale, you might even say, whoo, there's my exhale, acknowledging your breath. And then we're gonna roll all the way on up to standing. So you can bring your knees in and hold on to them and roll all the way on up, or you can roll all the way over. Woo, and come all the way on up. All right, we're gonna take a wide stride. So in your wide stride, heels in, toes out, right? And then you can look up or look down, but feel your feet. So big toe, little toe, heel, right? There's those tripods. And then we're gonna imagine uh, we have a third leg. So your legs, right? You have two of the three tripods. So imagine you have a third leg and then going up and down in your sumo, Trying to keep about the same amount of weight, big toe, pinky toe, heel through that tripod of the foot. Great, next time you come up, pause, and then just check in. Hey, I shifted into my heels quite a bit, right? So that awareness, did you shift into your heels? Can you bring the weight back and do two more? Just really big toe, pinky toe, heel, evenish weight all the way down, all the way up, right? My habit is to just drop right into my heels. So it's more of a learning experience. Like what's your experience? Great. And then we're gonna step your feet together. Find your standing mountain just for three breaths. So again, back down into those uh, foot pod, tripods of the feet, big toes, pinky toes, heels, soft knees, three breaths. And then we're going to take this right into a balance. So feeling that left side from your left ear all the way down into the back of the shoulder into your core, down your legs. So reminding yourself that it takes this whole body to help you balance, okay? So the tripod of that left foot, big toe, pinky toe, heel, nice and heavy as you lift just your right heel, okay? This might be your balance. This might be right where you stop. See if you can maybe invite the chest to soften a little bit, strong core. So you're putting all these different pieces that we work together in class on, and then maybe starting to pick up your right leg a little bit. And as this right leg lifts, can you keep your awareness in the left foot, right? What's going on in the big toe, the pinky toe and the heel? Maybe you hold your right leg in a little bit for support. Give yourself a couple of breaths, just keep breathing. Soft chest, sometimes that's the most challenging. Woo! And then slowly lower. Great, step your feet wide. Awareness of the tripods of the feet, three little sumo squats. So you can go really deep. I've been calling these like the garden squat. So if you wanna go down and pick up your brush or your twigs or pick a flower. <laughs> And then we're gonna pause. We're gonna tip at the hips three times. Nice wide back ribs, nice long, strong core. So you keep your symmetry, ear, shoulders, hips. All right, so now can you blend this bending with your feet? What do you feel in the feet? What's going on through those tripods? 
Next time you tip forward, pause. You don't have to tip very far. What's going on in the tripods of the feet? And then maybe squat a little more or not. And then press down and come all the way on up to standing. Step, step your feet in. Give yourself three breaths in your standing meditation. Again, from that place of mindful self-compassion, kindness, and curiosity, check in. What do you feel? What do you notice? Full exhale. Okay, either look or don't look at your feet. We're coming back to that awareness. Right side, right ear through the back shoulder. Okay, so you got to get this back upper back shoulder blade nice and strong on your back. Probably wouldn't hurt to do the left side too, right? Get your core all the way down through that right leg into the tripod. Your tripod is setting up the roots, the base to lift your left heel. Keep breathing. Down through that right side, floating the left foot knee up a little higher. You pick. As that left knee comes up a little higher, maybe the left heels up. What is going on in that right base of support? What's going on in the right root system down through the earth? Three breaths. And then let that left leg come down. Great. Step both feet right together. So you're back to your standing baseline. And then we're going to shift the weight now into your heel. So you still have your tripods. And you can keep the ball of the foot, big toe to pinky toe in your awareness. But bringing a little more weight into your heels, we're going to go down into that chair squat. And then we're gonna push down to come all the way on up. Great, two more, we're gonna go back with the hip creases. So even if you shift like say 60% into the heels, you can still feel that 40%. Great, one more time, we're gonna come down, find your chair, it could be a high chair. You might go really low, we're all really different. Look down, try and track your knees a little more forward over your toes, just to get into the hips a little differently. Join your hands, take a breath or two, feel the feet. What do you feel? What do you notice? With an exhale, just tip your pelvis forward. Maybe you bring your fingertips to the floor. Maybe you bring them to the shins or the thighs. Now shift the weight into the heels and pull your sit bones up slowly, slowly, slowly to get some hamstring stretch. And you feel how the sit bones pull up out of your heels, giving the back of the legs some length. Careful with your low back, go really slow on purpose so you can feel this. Inhale, lift your chest to look out at the front of your mat. Let your shoulders have space down out of your ears. And then when you're ready, step back and build your downward facing dog. Go as slow as you need, as fast as you want. We've all been in down dogs. So give yourself a moment to pause and build your dog. You can pedal out your feet. Good, three breaths to check back in. Again, from that place of mindful self-compassion, curiosity and kindness. Full inhale, full exhale. Okay, now bring awareness to your feet and notice what you feel through your feet as you step your feet up towards your hands. You're gonna come all the way back on up, take a full body stretch. Arms come down, two breaths, standing mountain meditation. Going a little bit quicker, left ear to left foot. Grounding that left 
foot tripod as you pick up your right knee. Right? You're going to find tree pose. So you're going to externally rotate this right leg. You could put it down here on your ankle. You might pull that leg up a little bit. So that left foot tripod. And then if it's your ankle or your foot, you're gonna push your legs together. Right? Hands can come on your hips. Wobbling is encouraged because, right, we're alive. I'm feeling that left foot, you got it. Softening your throat, your chest, your gaze, two breaths. If you're up here with your foot on your leg or even with your foot lower, can you take your foot off of your leg and hold that shape? Feel the left tripod of the foot. You got it, you got it. Swing your right leg around. Woo, put it down. Exhale, sweep your arms all the way on up. Little bit of weight in the heels, chair. Okay, so maybe 60% of the weight back in your heels, but you still feel the balls of your feet, right? You can still feel your big toes to your pinky toes. Shift all your awareness up into the back of the ribs and float the ribs up. Take a big inhale and pull your back ribs up. And then exhale, fold forward. Inhale. Drop your sit bones a little bit, and then slowly pull those sit bones back up out of your heels. Go super slow. You don't need to overstretch your hamstrings. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, fold, downward facing dog. You could stay in your downward facing dog, or if you want more challenge, sometimes we want more challenge, you can come forward to a straight arm plank. If you're in your plank and you feel you want more challenge and add some push-ups, you can do some push-ups. You could go to a child's pose, three breaths. Next exhale, we meet back in down dog. Next exhale, we start to feel the awareness of the feet as they walk up to your hands. We all meet up in our standing mountain stretch and then let our arms come down. Come back to standing mountain arms resting at your side. Come back to that place of mindful self-compassion check-in. Curiosity, kindness, holding your skeleton still, feeling your breath. And then bringing awareness down into the right foot, that right tripod. You could look or feel it. You could do both. Right ear all the way, strong through the shoulders, through the core. And then that right tripod foot as you lift your left knee. You're going to build your tree nice and slow. Your tree's gonna shift, it's gonna move. So that right foot in relationship to your breathing, you might squeeze the foot into the leg, the leg into the foot. Acknowledge the swaying is important. I'm gonna be quiet for about three breaths. Maybe taking your left foot away. Bringing the left leg around and back down. Ooh, two tripods, right side, left side of the feet. Just come back to the tripods. All of those root systems going down and wide into the ground. And shifting just a little more into the back of the heels, back into that chair squat. You don't have to go really low. 
finding that place. So even if there's a little more in the heels, you can still feel your balls of the feet, right? They're still anchored. Sweep your arms up this time. Feel the back ribs lift up in opposition to the heels. So the heels are going to anchor and you're going to feel the ribs, back ribs especially, really lift up. And then you're going to keep your knees bent and fold all the way over. Hands to the floor, the shins or your thighs. You could put your rib cage on your thigh bones if that works for you. And then you're gonna lift your chest to look up and soften your shoulders. Good, fold a little deeper. Great, and then lift your sit bones up out of your heels really slowly. See if you can feel that posterior back line stretch and strength. So it's strong as you lift up and then stepping back when you're ready and building your downward facing dog. Again, you can stay in your down dog. You could bend your knees and take your hip creases way back to get a little more length. You could come forward and do some push-ups. You could rest in table or child's pose. We're going to take about 10 seconds. So you could challenge yourself however you need here. Keep breathing. Back to your body breathing. What do you notice? What do you feel? Back to downward facing dog. All right, back to your feet. You're going to take a little walk up to your hands. So feeling your feet walk on up. Great. We're going to all meet way up in this standing mountain stretch. And we're going to bring our arms down and give ourselves three breaths in good old fashioned standing mountain. Great, and then let's step your feet wide again into that wide sumo, heels in, toes out. Finding those tripods, three sumos, chin up, chest up. So you might even take your gaze up a little bit. You can go as low as you'd like, as low as your knees and ankles allow. Great, and then we're gonna straighten the legs. Left leg is gonna roll in and right leg is gonna roll out. So you're going to those warrior two side angle legs about heel to heel. Tripods of the feet still matter. So big toe, pinky toe, heel. And we're just gonna do a little bit of a groin stretch on this left leg. So press that left thigh bone back. And then in opposition, Gently take your right knee forward. So I'm going to try and find a little extra stretch length in this left hip flexor groin area, especially as the right knee goes forward. Keep pushing that left thigh bone back. Great. And then come to the feet pods. Bring your hands together. Two breaths to soften the throat and the chest. Great, a little more challenging. Sweep your arms all the way up to the ceiling for two breaths. Feeling your feet pods, are they about even? I was putting way in, more into my right heel than anything else. Tip over, here comes your side angle, right elbow to right thigh bone. Left arm can be up towards the ceiling, or if that's a little much for your shoulder, bring your left hand onto your left hip. Give yourself two breaths. Great, back up to this warrior two. Okay, feeling that right foot pod, tripod, push into that right tripod of the foot and straighten the right leg. Good, right leg's gonna roll in now, left leg's gonna roll out. Hands come to your hips. So, Feeling those tripods of the feet. Right thigh bone pushes into the back of the hip socket as you let your left shin come forward. 
getting a little gentle groin stretch right there in the right side. Left thigh bone really heavy, left dome, tripod of the foot heavy. Give yourself a couple breaths, two breaths, soften the chest. Great, taking your arms out and up. Two breaths. Can you still pay attention? Feel those domes, tripods of the feet, especially as you start to tip into the side angle, left elbow to left knee. Right arm up to the ceiling or on your right hip. Arches, domes, tripods of the feet, two breaths. All the way back to this warrior two. Pressing into that left foot, big toe, pinky toe, heel to straighten the left leg. Great. Arms are going to come up. You're going to rotate your legs back to sumo. All right. So just a little extra work for your shoulders. We're going to try and keep the arms up and go as low as you can three times in your sumo. Great, last one. Great, then bring your arms down into your hips. Take two or three breaths, just give yourself a moment to settle. As you're settling, come back to the tripod of the right foot, and the tripod of the left foot. All right, we're gonna go down into the sumo, bend your knees and pause. So the only way to come up is to push those tripods of the feet down. So you're going to push big toe, pinky toe, heel down and straighten. Come back to your sumo. All right, you can make this more challenging by taking your arms up. So if you want more shoulder work, the arms are going to come up. If you've had enough shoulder work, keep your arms down, okay? Push into those three points. That's how you come up. Keep those three points in your awareness as you go down. Try for two more. So we get to play the down creates up game. Unification of opposites. We press down so much we float up. Great, last one. Nice. Great. And then let's step your feet together. Great. Two or three breaths in your standing mountain. Notice whatever you notice. And then guide your awareness back down into your feet. With an exhale, sweep your arms out and up. Can you feel the back ribs lift up as you go into your chair squat? Okay. As you reach long to fold over. As you bend your knees, maybe a little more and then pull those sit bones up out of your heels gently. You don't have to straighten your legs. You're just trying to get a little more length in the back of the leg. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, step, step back downward facing dog from your downward facing dog maybe you come forward and do some plank push-ups maybe you come to a floating tabletop maybe you come all the way to table or child's pose 10 seconds here so you could hang out and floating table down dog cat cow Keep breathing. Back to downward facing dog. And then feel your feet as you walk up to your hands. Press down, we come all the way on up to standing. Stretch on up. Bring your arms down. One more time. Anchor through the left side, pick up the right knee, bring it out and around, build your tree. Sweep your arms up maybe this time. Feeling that left foot root you into the ground, into the earth. 
We're gonna exhale, bring that right knee around, and then we're gonna step it all the way back into a high lunge. Right, sweep your arms up. Two breaths. Exhale, reach and lengthen yourself out long over that left knee, step back. Your choice, downward facing dog, tabletop, push-ups, cat-cow, 10 seconds. I'm gonna play some mindful self-compassion. Notice your experience. What's it feel like right now to be in your body? We exhale back to downward facing dog. Feel your feet walk up to your hands. Press down, we come all the way up. Stretching, standing mountain hands to your sides, two breaths. And anchoring through the right side, right? finding, lifting that left knee, finding your tree pose. Taking your arms up. What's going on in the dome, in the tripod of that right foot? All the way from the foot to your pelvis, to your ribs, to your shoulders, to your fingers. I'm gonna bring that left knee forward and step back, build that high lunge. Couple breaths here. You can always bring your hands to your chest to remind you to soften your chest. You can bring them to your hips. Full exhales, tip yourself forward. Feeling that right foot as you step back, plank pose, down dog, child's pose, push-ups, 10 seconds. Finding your own perfect challenge. You press back to down dog or child's pose. Pausing to be nice and quiet so you have a moment to come back into your body, breathing. Three breaths. And exhale, lower all the way down to your knees. You can press back to child's pose or an extended child's pose. So child's pose, the back's a little more round. You're rounding over your knees in child's pose. And in extended child's pose, the arms come out in front. It's maybe more like a puppy pose. You're dropping your chest a little more. And your low back won't have the same feeling of flexion. You'll feel a little more extension in the extended child's pose, puppy pose in your back ribs. And we'll give ourselves about five breaths. I'm gonna be really quiet, giving an opportunity to listen to your body breathe. Coming back to your experience. Let's take one more inhale, exhale. And then we'll come all the way onto your back. So we'll flip all the way over to how we started coming back to that constructive rest shape. So that's being on your back with your knees bent and your feet flat on the floor.
Your arms can come down by your sides. They can even come a little wider. And then we can really use the floor for feedback to feel the heaviness of the feet and the pelvis, the heaviness of the rib cage and the shoulders and your head. Two full commitment exhales. So with it being pretty warm today, we're gonna take a fork in the road. You might wanna stay right here and take a little extra time to rest today. It's pretty warm and it's gonna get warmer. <laughs> so the, the heat can be exhausting. So acknowledging that is important. Or you can do the figure four stretch on your back. So both are pretty relaxing, but you might wanna you know, take more time to really just take a little cat nap. So. If you wanna go ahead and do the figure four stretch, we'll start with the right leg. So you just extend your right leg up towards the ceiling. It's going to externally rotate. So you roll the toes and the knees away and you cross that foot over your left uh, thigh bone there. And then try not to use your hands, just use the strength of your hip. You might press uh, your right thigh bone away a little bit. And then the left knee comes up over the left hip. And just checking in with yourself, adjusting the stretch as needed. This is another really quite helpful place to soften the chest. We have a lot of tension in the hip. Sometimes it shows up in the chest and the throat. And then we'll take a full exhale and switch legs, switch sides. At any time you wanna go and just take Shavasana or meditation, it's always a really good option. So left leg comes up, externally rotates, left foot on the right thigh bone, maybe taking the right knee over the hip. Three long exhales. Softening through the chest, the throat, and the eyes will let this pose naturally unravel back to constructive rest. We'll give ourselves a moment to reconnect to the ground, to the earth beneath us. And we'll take the next two minutes here in silence. So if there's extra stretching you'd like to do. It's a nice opportunity to allow your bones, allow your skeleton some stillness. Allowing your body to slow down and breathe for you. And just that gentle reminder that as we come back to check in, coming back from that place of 
Mindful self-compassion, being really kind, practice being kind to ourselves. So with kindness and curiosity, checking back in, how does it feel to take an inhale? How does it feel to take an exhale? We did lots of awareness in the feet, so it should be easy for us to find our toes. We're just going to start to wiggle your toes. And just wiggle your fingers. And then you might take a full body stretch, or you might be someone who wants to draw their knees in and give your knees a hug. You might do a little bit of both. And just can you move and feel the movement with your breathing? And then we'll slowly roll all the way over and come on up to sitting. Sweet, when you get on up, interlace your hands just one more. We'll take a big stretch up towards the seat. Just lift those back ribs up. Uh, and then exhale, let the arms come down. High fives, everyone. Everyone online, thank you. High fives, everyone here. Happy Tuesday.